All right, in this short demo, we're gonna show you how to take Kaggle's facial key points detection competition and turn it into a Qflow pipeline using the KFP SDK. So assuming that you've got Qflow already installed, you wanna navigate over to the notebooks view. And here, let's create a new notebook server, give it a name. Let's bump up some of these defaults. Let's give ourselves two CPUs, two gigs of RAM. And let's also give ourselves 10 gigs of storage as opposed to the default of five. We can take the rest of the defaults, click the launch button. And once our notebook server is up and running, we're ready to go ahead and connect to it. And once connected to it, we're gonna to wanna to open up a terminal. So the first thing to do is that we're going to want to download the Qflow slash examples uh, repository. And once it's downloaded, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and navigate into the facial key points detection directory. And this is gonna be our project directory. Next up, what we want to do is uh, go to Docker Hub and set up an account. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to do that. And with that completed, what we now want to do is install Docker locally as well. I'm doing it on a Mac. You can see that I have the app up and running. And then we want to go to the local command line and log into Docker. And once we're successfully logged into Docker, we have one more bit of setup that we want to do, and that's going over to Kaggle.com open up your account and make sure that you generate a new API token. And with that token, we're gonna to create our uh, Kubernetes secret that you see here. And once that's done, we can come back locally to the command line, verify that we've got Git in installed and then Git clone the uh, Qflow slash examples directory. And you can see now that we've got the same uh, directory structure locally as we have up here on Qflow as a service. So next up, let's create a resource.yaml file with the content that you see here. And we're gonna, res we're gonna use this resource.yaml file to create a pod default. So we don't have to pass the Kaggle uh, authentication in, uh, in clear text uh, while we're running the pipeline. So with that done, let's go ahead and create that pod default. All right, now back locally uh, in our project directory, let's go into pipeline components uh, train. And here we wanna open up the train.py file. This is the Python file that we're gonna use to create our pipeline component or pipeline step. First at the command line, let's make sure we're in the correct directory. And the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna build a Docker image from that train.py file. So I'm just updating the command to use my Docker hub uh, username. And once that image is created, we're ready to then push it to Docker Hub. So that's the command that you wanna use. Same sort of deal. Let's go ahead and uh, add in your Docker Hub name. In this case, I'm gonna apply mine. And once we get the confirmation that the image has been pushed up to Docker Hub, we can go back to Docker Hub, refresh our repositories view, and you can see that the train image is there. So let's rinse and repeat on the eval.py file. And this is the uh, file that we're gonna to use to generate our uh, eval pipeline component, which in turn is gonna create our pipeline step. So we're gonna to wanna to do a Docker build here. Again, update uh, the Docker username that it's applicable for you. Once that Docker image is built, we're ready to then push the eval Docker image up to Docker Hub. Again, we're just updating the username there. And once we get confirmation that the push is complete, we can come back to our Docker Hub uh, web page, refresh it, and you can see we now have our train as well as our eval images available to us. Now, back on Qflow as a service, um, we wanna open up the facial key points detection uh, kfp.py file. We wanna make two changes here. We wanna update the image name so that they match what's up on Docker Hub. Once we make those changes, let's go ahead and save out the file. Now we're ready to use this file to create our pipeline uh, YAML file. And we'll just do that with Python 3, the name of the py file. Then what we wanna do is we wanna download this YAML file locally to our project directory. And you can see we have that YAML file there now. We're ready to create a pipeline. So let's go back up to Kubeflow as a service. We'll click on the experiments KFP view. Click on create experiment. We're gonna name our experiment. Click next. And then we're ready to go to pipelines and upload the pipeline. That's that YAML file that we downloaded. So let's go ahead and bring that in. And with that YAML file selected, we can go ahead and click create after giving the pipeline a name. And now we have an experiment and we have a pipeline. So let's create a run. 
So here, uh, what we want to do is just assign this run that's based on that pipeline to the appropriate experiment that we created in the first uh, step. Give it some run parameters and click start. Now let's click on this actual run and you can see that it is actually running. We're in the runtime execution graph and you can see we've created our volume. Uh, we've done our train step and we've done our evaluate step. And you can click on each one of these particular steps to get more details about inputs, outputs, volumes, log information, as well as artifact data. And that's it. You have successfully created a Qflow pipeline using the SDK for Kaggle's facial key points detection competition.